Welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty and I'm Scotty and... Hi everybody, I'm your favorite giraffe chip from Toys R Us and today we're looking at my set. This belongs to me, not Deer. Deer, you get out of here, you don't belong here. You're irritating too. Your voice sucks. And who's that on your nose? Why are you over there? I'm Jeffrey, this is my set. What are you doing on there? You know what, we guys just stop fighting. I'm just gonna stay out of this. I have nothing to do with this set. Let's just get this over with. I'm just... I'm so sad today. Well, ain't that the truth. It's a sad day because in America, they're closing down all the Toys R Us and that's my childhood too. We still have it here in Asia. And of course, our friendly neighbors at Oxford Block Korea have this set for you to relive your childhood memories. So here it is. So this is Oxford Block's town toy shop. ST33322, 1,510 pieces. Only available at Toys R Us in Korea. But not anymore, it's also available on BreakMeUpScotty.com because they're letting us sell it to you guys, so go get it while you can. This is probably one of my favorite Oxford Block sets out there. This is the most amazing thing. I think this is one of their bigger ones. It's kind of like the game room that I did before. If you haven't watched the game room, go watch it. It's probably another fun set. I think the game room and this one are my two favorites from them. Back steer is really smooth. Dear, your back is so smooth, we can rotate this nice and smooth. There you go, plenty of windows there so you can See inside, we got the back here, just a bunch of plain walls. And we come here to the side, a lot of little things going on here. This is freaking awesome, like look at that. 3D words popping out, yes, 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 and we also have Jeffrey. But no, this is awesome, look, he has a swivel head. Look at his eyes, yeah, pretty secure, and the arms move up and down. Beautiful, they're just missing the us. Where's the us? They got the toys are, but where's, where's the us? I can't believe they're missing the us, I just realized that, it's just toys are. Toys are. Okay, cool, half the words. Still looks really awesome. The awning here, where it just drops down. That is cool, man. Now this is not like the other Oxford block where they split open, this one actually comes off. But let's look at the side here, what's going on. We've seen, as usual, the Coke machine. No smoking sign, put your cigarettes out. And you got two little barriers here. This is cool, man. I've always loved little details like this that you don't see in other sets. This is like one of those cars that you just put your quarters in and you go riding on the cars. It really makes me want like a full carnival set. We, we got the Ferris wheel from Lego, we got like the carousel, but you know, I want a carnival set where you have like all the little detailed rides inside. I think that'd be really cool. But there you go, and you got two gumball machines. Yeah, two is better than one. There's not too much going on on the platform itself. I like that it's all tiled, yay. You have two benches, not one. Uh, there was a missing piece here on the tile. See if you can take a guess of which tile it, it was. I think you can kind of tell. Yeah, if you're seeing it right now, you can kind of tell there's a little bit tone of difference. So the Oxford block tile colors are a little bit different from Legos and the other set. So just so you know. Some people have been asking if they can get like the manual so they can rebuild this in Lego. I can tell you right now, there's a lot of pieces that are like custom sizes that Lego does not have. You can try it, but it's gonna look really different. And this is so super colorful. Look how colorful that is. Of course you got the traffic light there. You got this nice little staircase here. Staircase going up to the, to the second floor. Let's take this top off and put it to the side here. Look at that interior. Okay, first thing first, not tiled on the inside. Dang it. There's a lot of things going on in here. It's awesome. Let's look at the details. As you come in, you got this rack here that rotates. You know, maybe those are like super, super mini figurines. Uh, they had like a few more of these in here, would be even better. But it's cool, they just use a stud and just clip them on and that's it, and it's multicolored. On the back wall here, it looks like one of those buckets, like you have all the Lego pieces inside or brick pieces, so they just have a stack of that. That's okay. It's not bad, but it's not, it doesn't look like a toy to me. I, I wish they would have changed that out. So on this side of the wall, they have two skateboards. One is a display, orange one, and you got this pink skateboard, and you got a scooter. That is so cool. Now, when I bought the set, that scooter was actually missing. They gave me two top handles. These things happen, I'm telling you, you will get missing pieces, but we can help you find missing pieces if you do order from us. It may take a little time, but we can do it. We can get it done for you guys. Most of it is here, so no worries. I took that scooter from another set. But here on the back wall, look at the sticker details on those, the shelf, that is so cool. Those are the real products from Officer Block. These ones are actually available. If you can see it on the camera right now and you want to buy one of these, you know, just let me know. We have it. We can get it. And on the back wall here, you have stickers. Uh, yeah, I know, I'm not a fan of stickers. Y'all know that, but these are okay. You got, at least you got like exclusive Toys R Us with Jeffrey stickers with stars going along the top. I love the cashier area. The cashier area is pretty dope because they put like, at least they have a nice sticker on there. Not the right, like, a repeated sticker. I haven't seen that before. And they have the area where you scan and how much it's going to cost and the cashier sign. And then you got the pink bike. 
And a purple bicycle. That's cool. They put so much stuff in there. And that's the first floor for you guys. I love it. I think it's really cool. If it just had tiles and maybe a couple more little small things here or changed up the bucket area, this or the, you know, this, this, whatever these are, I would have changed those. I just made it a little bit more toy friendly. But the second floor is definitely awesome too. And here we go. This is the second floor. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, rotate that sucker. All right, so here you have a door, and that's the one that leads, leads up to the staircase. You go inside here to the second floor. Let's see what's inside. We got four shelvings, and look at that. Seriously, that's all the products that are available. Now, I heard the Titanic is actually pretty cool, like really popular too. I might have to get the Titanic now, build that. And then you got the sweet shops here. They got more, they got the hamburger shop. I haven't seen these other ones before. I'm gonna order them, I'm gonna try to. I haven't put them on the store yet because some of them are exclusive only in Korea and some of them are we can distribute so we're trying to find the ones in Korea right now that are hard to find so we can sell them to you guys but of course they kind of cost more than usual but hey if you like it what can I do what can I say I can't make it cheaper and then here you got a barrel two barrels and you got little weapons in here a little sword fight I should give one to Jeffrey here I can't put it on his hand and give one to the other Jeffrey let them battle it out. And then here on the corner by the display, you got a castle. And here you got a pirate ship. That is so cool. They're like little miniature stuff that I want more of that. I would love to have seen those more on the first floor as well. That's awesome. You got two shields here. No prints on the shield. Kind of wish it had like printing or patterns on the shield itself. Again, same stickers repeating on the back wall. The same cashier as you saw downstairs. And this here on the corner on this side is really awesome too. Four vehicles. And they're like miniature trucks and fire engines and cars. That is awesome. And on the outside here, you got a little sticker here that says, Toys R Us, new toys. Are these new? Well, these are the fire sets. These are available if you want them. I just haven't built them. I haven't had time to do a review or put it on the site. But there you go. That's the second floor. That's so sweet. Okay, let's look at the last floor. Here we go. The rooftop. Ah, okay. For the rooftop here, we got, of course, Jeffrey. You saw the Toys R Us words earlier. And you got like another power generator here. But look, the stuff I was talking about last time. This is what I like about rooftops. They're just not leaving it blank. They're actually like adding things onto here and making a little garden. That's what you guys should do with your set on the rooftop because it looks cool. It looks awesome. I think it does. Well, that's it for the Toys R Us shop. Small, nice, awesome. One of my favorites. I love the colors. Everything stands out. But that's not all. It actually has more to the set. Do you want to see it? All right, here we go. I'm going to push this aside. You guys saw this last time, so it's not, not a real surprise. But here it is. This is the Toys R Us truck that comes with the set this comes with the set how awesome is that so the question is is there anything inside the truck you're about to find out right now here we go uh oh oh you have a box box for delivery for toys one more thing in here what is it ah uh, it's one of those cart things look i've never seen this before that's new to me look at that does the box fit on there perfectly oh you can stack like a bunch of little boxes on here and have your minifig rolling around there. Do, 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 do. That's the Toys R Us truck, comes with the toy store. But that's not all, there's still one more thing that comes with it. You ready for this one? This one's actually pretty cool too, they didn't have to do this. Yeah, check that out. It comes with a car park. It comes with two cars, car park, truck, and a Toys R Us store. That is by far the coolest thing ever. The car park is really simple, I mean it's just a plate, but I like how they actually took advantage of the back here and made a little back wall with a little vine that holds them together. Now for the cars themselves, they're okay. I'm not a car I'm, I'm not a car guy, I'm not a car fan. I've seen other sets that look a little bit better with the cars, but that's just nitpicking, you know? These ones fit in their spot. I think it's just like a skinny look to it. And the other thing is they have studs on the top, on the rooftop here, and I didn't know what that was for until I saw it on the box. And actually it's a pretty cool idea, check this out. So you go to Toys R Us, come to the shop and you go, I wanna buy the bicycle, I want this bicycle. And you put it on top of the car. Of course, they had to throw in a scooter too. So you also get a pink scooter. Now I have too many scooters. But that's so cool, they actually included that in there. Because of course, someone needs to ride the scooter. And that brings me to the minifigures. So here they are. Okay, for the minifigures, we're gonna separate them from girls to guys. I don't have enough girl subscribers. I don't know any names out there. I have a couple names. If you have daughters and you want them named as minifigures, please let me know in the comments. I need more female names. Unless you male guys would like to be females. If you're not offended, I'll name you as one of them. But all right, here, let's just take a look at the minifigures. 
Okay, so we're looking at the ladies spinning on the platform. Look how lovely they look. Now, I don't have a lot of names because, you know, so let's just name two of them for now. First one is Eva Lamb. Thank you so much for watching the channel and supporting. There you are with nice pink hair. And then we have Smile Emilia. Smile, stay happy, keep on smiling. And thank you for enjoying the channel. And look at you, you look so pretty there. Really cool. And we got these other three little ladies. Got this one in the red outfit, nothing too special. I noticed their legs are kind of different from the other figures. Maybe it's a female thing. And you got these two little girls, one with a polka dot dress with the long hair. Looks nice. I love this girl. I think it's a girl. Is it a girl or a boy? One with a flower, but her face. This is the face that's on deer. I love it. Okay, we got here the guy in red with a nice beard. This is Jose Luis Valente. There you are, looking nice and cool. We're getting the table. It's coming in a week. Yay. With this black hair and red. Sheep.exe. I like that username. And thank you for your concern. We will try our best to send to Germany. I sure hope we can mail it to all you guys out there. Then you got the life vest. They, Oxford loves to put this life vest on. I know it's a jacket, but it looks like a life vest to me. Dumb mod 198 Yes, I'd love to have a feudal castle as well. I'm gonna ask Wangay to please make a castle for us. Finally got this guy with a cap on and a cross stitch shirt. Flowery Dave, Flowery Dave. What a cool name, man. This is you, looking like you're ready to buy every single toy in this shop. Before I break myself out, let's all sing a song together. We all know how it goes. Here we go. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. They got a million Toys at Toys R Us that I can play with. Oh, so sad indeed. All right, you guys. Until next time. Break me out. Hey, there's, if there was just a way that you can mechanically move this, like. Oh, well, someone out there's got to do like a battery operated thing here where they can just like... Well, this one might be a little bit harder to, to rotate, but it does rotate. You can do like an exorcist move here. Seriously though, we're going to miss you Toys R Us, I'm going to miss you Jeff. But I got this to play with for the rest of my life, so I'm happy that this is available for a short time, limited time. I have no idea how long it's going to last. Oh. Scotty's YouTube channel. And don't forget, subscribe here on Scott's face, watch the other videos here, and watch even more videos you might not have seen over here. So take care you guys. I love you so much. Please come back. Don't leave me here. I'm suffocating with this guy. Goodbye.